First last night, well, another celebrity left the ice. I'm going to save Dominic. <laughs> One vote for Dominic. Emma. I'm going to save Dominic. <laughs> so there we are. Let's see where Robin would have gone. I'm glad it's not a double eviction because I know we will see more. I save Dominic. So with all three votes, Dominic skates next week. Well, Stephen Arnold and his partner, Nina Ulanova, join me now. Good to see you. Nice but, to see oh, you too. Are you OK? Are you over the disappointment? I'm absolutely fine. You know, <laughs> you know we, we, we trained hard for three months, didn't we, Nina? And yeah. it was, you know, Nina's a world champion and just to have three months of that experience and to go through it all and learn what I did learn, you know, I never thought I'd ever do um, a celebrity programme, I never thought I'd ever ice skate in my life. So well, you'd never done it before, you were a complete novice. I went on a date when I was 18. Right, and that but, was yeah, it? <laughs> yeah, but it was just, um, you know, I, I went down in April and went for an audition for it and I absolutely loved it and I really enjoyed my mm. time and it was just a great... Great, um, but you know what? Do. You know what, Nina? The judges were, especially Jason, very cruel. Don't you think? Well, about Jason, I would love to see him skating, and I would love to be his skating partner. Oh, I would love to see you. I'd oh. like to see you sort of throwing him around <laughs> 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 like that. Because you know what? It was unfair. Because you tried so hard. You put, you know, you did. I, I did try very hard, you know, and, and I think, um, I think. The points that I got, you know, from the first week. I mean, I only got seven points the first week, which was, I think, fair dues at the time. But I think I did improve over the next two weeks, mm. and I think, you know, I think, I think the, the judging was a little bit unfair. It but... was. A li well, listen to this. This is Jason. Listen to him in full flight. Well, you know, you're a natural disaster. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of commitment has obviously shown here. Are you going to take this competition seriously? I'm 100% taking this competition seriously. Yeah, you were, to be fair. You know, you were. Although you did, you enjoy a, a wee nap, I believe. I did, I just you slept... You like a wee nap. During rehearsals, you just would think to yourself, oh, I'll just have a wee nap. I did, and I slept through, <laughs> and um, I, I, I got really punished for that, I think, uh, on the VT. But, you know, you can ask Nina yourself. I, I, I was on the ice, like, four, five, six hours yeah. every day. You know, I was totally committed to you it. You put and... the hours in. You really yeah, did. And also, okay. it has to be said, you were putting those hours in right alongside doing a really intense storyline in Coronation Street. So you were actually having to, to be fitting it all in. And... I was, was actually doing panto as well. No, <laughs> yeah, it's no wonder you'd done that. That was probably the only sleep you got for about three weeks. <laughs> it was, but it's nice to be busy, you know, and doing Course. things. So, you know, I've... I've I was very fortunate to get, get the store land that I got on Coronation Street yeah. and then I finished work on the Wednesday and started working in on the Thursday and then I started Panto, so, you know... It's been crazy. It's, I yeah, don't know, it's been I don't know how he was managing all this, like, yeah. honest to God, I don't know. Lots I don't know fun. how many hours he managed to sleep during the night. Three? Not many. Four? Not many. <laughs> Not <laughs> many. We did, I tell you what, though, we miss you. We miss you and Cody. Everybody still talks about you. Yeah. Um, Claire... She battered Tracy, right? And she's now in France. Right. Just to keep you up to date with what's going on. Because <laughs> I know you haven't been able to see it. Well, I've not, because I did pantomime, I mean, I didn't even see um, me killing off. I didn't, didn't see oh. any of that. So did, you died well. You died a hero. Yeah. A total, total hero. And it was really, really good. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, if there can be a good way to go, it was. Do you know what? Do you know, to leave on the 50th anniversary of such a great show like Coronation Street, it was an absolute pleasure. And, um, you know, I, I think he did the character justice, you know, and I think the writers did the character justice by giving him the opportunity to leave like he did and yeah. to go on the 50th, it was it was such a pleasure to, to go that way. I know, but we will miss you. We will yeah. miss you. So what's, I mean, obviously, a rest, I think, now, a wee bit of a rest, but what are you looking forward to in the new year? I've, I've got to sit down with my agent. Um, I'm going to sit down with my agent on Friday. The response has been absolutely fantastic. I've had, I've had a lot of job offers and uh, I'm just going to sit down and... And see work what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah see next, what we're going to do, basically. But I'm just, I'm just so looking forward to the future. I mean, I, I had 16 great years at Coronation Street. You know, it, was, it gave me a great start to life. And, mm. and, and to have an opportunity to work on a show like that was just fantastic for me, you know, as an, like, such an early age. Um, but, you know, I've got to move on now and I've Absolutely. got to try different things. And that's why I did Dancing on Ice. Yeah. And, you know, I had to do something out of my comfort zone and it was so enjoyable working <laughs> with Nina and I had such a good time and, you know, I got voted out last night but um, I've had a really good three months and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Excellent. It's great to see you. And you. Really good to see you. And good luck in, in the future. Thank you so much Lovely for having us. to see you, Nina. Cheers. I'm sure you'll be back next year. We'll see, see who you get paired up with. It'll be very interesting. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank and you. And still to come between now and 9.25.